just getting off work. It is 7.14. Um, today is the day of Warner Brothers. I'm so excited. I'm only going for one day, which is today, of course. Um, yeah, so I'm going to rush home and try to get like a 45 minute nap if I can. Um, yeah, because then I got to get right back up and get ready and go downtown. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to make it today, but I am. Excuse my skin. I'm still breaking now. Well, it's really just this side. But luckily it calmed down a lot because my skin was wild, man. I don't know what was going on because my skin ain't never been like that. Um, I had breakouts like all over here. But yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, let me go home and try to get something, um, some kind of an energy boost, whatever. So I'm going to check back in when I wake up. So I'll see you see all later. In true Desiree fashion, I am running late. It would, I need one of those stands for my car, but it really wouldn't be me if I wasn't running late, a 45 minute nap turned into like an hour 20. Um, I woke up, saw it was raining and snowing at the same time. It's just snowing now, the weather's bad, so I don't even need to eat one here. Um, I thought I had my hoops in my car. They're not in my car. Um, yeah. My lipstick, of course, you know, I didn't put it on yet. Necklace, don't have it. Um, Y'all, it's a mess. Um, don't tell me about my shirt because obviously, you know, I'm not blonde with the fade anymore. But I'm gonna get a new one made for sure. Sorry, my glasses reflect <clears throat> um yeah just just pray for me so let me get there i'm going to film um you know when i get in there for sure but y'all let me, let me just get there safely okay that that's my concern right now let me get there safely because the weather's ugly and i'm just rushing at this point so i will Hit y'all up later when I get my mind together and get situated. All right, see y'all in a minute. So tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do. Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do. Who's gonna love you, love you like I do. Now, 
unable to go and simply cut off any of the dead skin that I see. Again, making sure that you don't lick your client, but you want to clean up the area so that you can make sure it's still clean. While you're doing that, make sure you, with your thumb, you're pulling back the hood of the skin, okay?
you like I do Who's gonna love you, love you like I do Someone drags the whole way this way, and then every time you drag, they try a different way. Okay. That means that when you apply the nail, they go to run in, or they turn the bubble, or they uh, try too fast because you don't have an applique in the rush. Right? You ever had a problem before? A lot, right? Mm -hmm. So the thing to do better now is learn how to control the bee. Mm -hmm. That first foundation you have to learn how to do it. A second thing is, when you do a drill bit, everybody is so, I, I'm not going to learn the class for you, I'm not going to learn some more about the drill bit. I learn a lot for myself and, and try to fix it. So people now just like the egg. The regular I have egg. no fingers. <laughs> I'm showing you guys the um, application process for application process for an ombre, okay? Pull this out. I'm using a 12, I usually use a 14. Go for a 12 if you, you know, if you feel comfortable with it. Really? Mm -hmm. I, think. <laughs> I got a 12. Go to Poochie's booth if you need a brush. And I know she has a quality brush. So that's how you start the ombre. Did you guys see that? Hey guys, so I just got back in my car. Um, it's over. Um, it was good. Then um, it got bad because uh, these bumps are so nasty. I'm so sorry because I don't know what's breaking me out. Um, there we go. You still can't see because of my glasses. Anyway, um, the last class I went to, it was so many technical difficulties. It just ended up blowing me. Like, I didn't even care what the class was about at that rate. But whatever. She did the best she could. Um, I'm about to go home because, one, I'm hungry. And two, I've been out for too long and my body is starting to shut down and I need sleep. I only got an hour and a half, but, or however long I said earlier, hour and a half, hour 20. Y'all know I overslept. So yeah, I'm about to go home and yeah, I'll probably go in a little detail, not a lot. Um, yeah. My only day at Warner Brothers. I wish I was going tomorrow, but I'm not. Hmm. So, yeah, I will see you guys when I get home. Bye. First class, you need a wonderful. She was between her and Tony. Like, I really, um, you know, learned a lot or stuff like made sense. And I was just like, oh. I overthink things a lot and probably complicate them more than I should. Um, it's ridiculous. But at the end of her class, that's when things, um, you know, I'm not going to say got bad, but that was um, flag number one. Something happened with whatever her camera was hooked up to and you know they had like a project a projector like a screen so everybody could see and um then it just it just like I'm not gonna say blacked out but it cut off I don't know if her battery died or what but whatever but the class was done by the by the time like she just you know was finished polishing or something like that so it's not like we missed a lot we didn't but she still talked us through the little bit of work she did have um she did talk us through it so that wasn't bad but that was flag number one so her class got done or whatever then it was tony's class next so we get to tony's class you know he's prompt 
one time, you know, before the class started, of course, you know, he was just trying to get everything together. But then him and his team, you know, realized that the projector thing and camera wasn't working. So I'm like, wasn't working. And I just figure, you know, you have somebody, a worker on demand, you know, who can fix stuff like that. But I don't know what happened, but he did not let that stop him at all. His his class was amazing. We ended up, um, what he ended up doing because it just wasn't working and he didn't want to waste any um, more time with the class. So, you know, he was like, you know, I'm here to show you what I have to show you and I'm not about to short you. And I was like, that's what's up. And he got right to it. So he just ended up going, whoops. He just ended up going live on his Instagram. It was good. It was still thorough, but he was quick on his feet. You know, um, like I said, he did not let that stop him from getting that information out and showing us what he had to show us at all. So that was really great on his part. Um, very knowledgeable. Very, very, very knowledgeable. Him and you need to... I wish, you know, the classes were longer. So last one was Jasmine Torres. And yeah, nothing worked with her. Like literally nothing again. But it was just like 10 times worse. She had a laptop and she was going to show us the video, you know, of her her work, you know, of the process or whatever. And she tried to get it hooked up and it wasn't working. Then someone came in, some help. She was really sweet and um, tried to help her get it hooked up. She kept on apologizing. She was like, you know, hey, what we have isn't going to work. It was something wrong with the actual projector. But I'm like, y'all had ample amount of time to get this figured out and... I just don't see why they didn't. Born and Brothers, I guess, they knew, you know, exactly what these instructors were bringing to the class and everything just for them to have faulty equipment, which isn't fair. And at first, Jasmine, like, you can tell she was visibly frustrated because she was like, okay. It just looked like, okay, now what am I going to do? So she did, she was able to still go on with the class, but we wasted so much time, so much time um with trying with her trying to figure out you know why it isn't working with this lady going back and forth um trying to get another guy to come in and see you know what was wrong with the projector it sucked too because I was really hype about her class and just by them the unprofessionalism on their part not Jasmine's but their part you know not having the things these instructors needed. Then on top of that, one of my pet peeves is, this has always been my pet peeve, high school, um, undergrad, cosmetology school, whatever. If I take a class, wherever, when there's always, there's always one, always one person in the class that's like a know-it-all. And it's like, I didn't pay to come and see you or hear you talk the whole the whole time. And it wasn't even like they were just asking questions or inquiring. It was like um they were trying to tell the instructor, you know, how to do her job. I guess, you know, she was trying to explain things and um well, I was just like, girl, can you relax? Like, I don't remember seeing your name on here. Like, this is clearly Jasmine's class. Let her teach. Like, I can't stand when people do that. It is nothing wrong with being, um, asking questions, anything like that. Um, nothing at all. But it was to the point where the lady in there that was doing all that, like, Jasmine could barely get a word in because she was over talking her 
cutting her off and everything and you know talking to the class to getting them engaged and i was just like ugh. people are like some people just have no respect because even in tony's class and unita's it was just like a few people in the back having being loud like having their own conversation or laughing it's people genuinely in that class like it's people in that class genuinely trying to soak up this information these nail techs you know, popular nail techs, people who've been in the game for a while, they charge out the butt sometimes, you know, for class, for classes, you know, maybe one-on-ones, webinars, whatever. And sometimes people just can't afford that. So you have shows like Bronner Brothers where you do have free classes that people can attend. And, um, you know, people come there to soak up information. I don't need somebody you know learning just like me to try to come and take over the class i'm here to hear what the person who's you know instructing the class has to say not you you know what i'm saying as far as questions and stuff of course that ain't no problem but it was just a matter of someone in the class trying to teach the class I was, <sighs> that was frustrating that was so frustrating. It was just one lady in there and she was like going off. That's why I said, you know, it was good. Then it got bad because it just like everything just kept getting worse and worse as the day went on. Like I said, no fault of the instructors because they did the best that they could, you know, remain professional. Those other factors as far as the projector as far as, you know, someone in the class wanting to basically teach the class or just won't shut up, I guess. I just think that, that's just so rude. It's so rude. Honey, if you was all that, you'd be up here teaching class. You know what I'm saying? Brunner Brothers would reach out to you and be like, hey, you want a class? You want to teach? You know what I'm saying? So let these people teach their class. That's it. People are coming here. People are traveling out of the state, out of the freaking country to come to Brunner Brothers because, it's, you know, a good hair show. It was really good this year. And people are coming from God knows where to listen to people they look up to to learn from them, to get advice, to, you know, just be inspired by whatever the instructor was saying. And then here you go. Always interrupting. Just being rude. I don't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. That definitely blew me. I don't, was my lip chop? Ew. I definitely will be back in August. Uh, I hope they do have more classes that I'm interested in. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm about to go take a nap and drink some more tea because I'm getting sick. My throat is like ridiculous right now because it's crazy weather. Like it rained all day yesterday it was so ugly i'm just over it i'm over this weather and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy please make sure you share make sure you subscribe make sure you like and comment and until next time i will see you guys later bye